throwing up another video real quick. Uh, this is going to be my, I guess my, you know, I, I kind of changed my collection around over the last year going from Ohio State specific collecting and Lemieux stuff. Kind of getting back into vintage. So I figure I'll give you guys a recap of where I'm at. This is my, probably my top cards from 1940s through the 60s. And then I'll do some as um, through the 70s through 2000s later. So here we go. 1954 Roy Campanella. Got a batting leader from 66 Tops, Clemente, Aaron and Mays. Sixty-seven tops Clemente, five and a half. Most of these Clementes was um, cards I saved during my house fire. So, again, a few cards that have sentimental value to me. Johnny Bench, rookie and a four. Need to upgrade that one. The Maze Catch, out of fifty-nine tops. I just I love this card. Like the action. 58 Musil and a 7. It's a pretty decent grade for the set. Frank Robinson rookie. Out of 57 tops. And a 3. It's kind of a low grade. A little miscut, but otherwise it's pretty nice. 61 tops and a 6. This has Mantle, Lemon, Maris on it so pretty good hitters about that one raw as well 58 mano all-star and a six that was one I had when I was a kid Phil Rizzuto rookie leaf 49 and a four it's got some staining on the top right but otherwise pretty nice card Karzemski, 1960 tops, and a five. Clemente, 5'5", five, five, 1960 tops. Such an iconic set. Beautiful cards. Lou Brock, rookie, 62 tops. Sepeda, this is um, his rookie from 58 tops and a 7. It's a really clean card. It's a really nice grade for that set. That's where the pricing starts to pick up. Um, Musil, 48 Bowman, 2.5. I bought this card raw, so I was just excited the fact that it came back um, authentic and gradable. It's a little off kit, uh, you can tell right here, but still, it's a, it's a 48 Bowman. I had a really good deal on it. Nolan Ryan, 3.5 out of 68 tops. Fifty-five uh, or 58 Maris and a 5.5. Again, centering's the whole reason this thing isn't higher. Still a nice card. This is uh, Yogi Berra, 48 Bowman rookie. Oh, it's a 5 miscut, so I run a 3 probably if I was to submit without the um, without the cut. You can see part of the other card over here, so it was a manufacturer cut. Still a nice card though. Very iconic. 48 Leaf. Warren Spawn rookie card and a four. This is a Warren Spawn 48 Bowman, five and a half. Another really nice card. Tempted to break it out and send it to um, PSA, but I get that way with all my Beckett cards. I just like the PSA holders better. Uh, four and a half. This is a 53 Pee Wee Reese color. Out of Bowman. Just 
just a, another iconic card. It's actually worth more than his rookie card. It's probably one of his highest value cards, I think, in, that they produced as far as price goes. But just really cool in-action photo. This is his actual rookie. This is a 41 play ball Pee Wee Reese and a three and a half. Got like a slight touch right in here. You can see on the back. But still, it's a Pee Wee Reese rookie card. Can't go wrong with that, right? Ernie Banks, 54 tops in a four. Pretty nice card. I think I've shown this already. This is the um, Sandy Koufax that I picked up not too long ago. 55 tops rookie. And a three and a half. It's got a little bit of the eraser right there. But otherwise, it's a very strong card. You know, anything with these old cards, it's it's what everybody's personal preference. Is it the centering, the color, the uh, corners, um, marks? I mean, to me, I can overlook this to have just a brilliant card outside of it. Um, I haven't shown this yet. This is fairly new. 54 tops, LK line, 4.5 PSA, really good grade. It's got a little surface scuffing right there. Um, bring the grade down, but just awesome card. This stuff's going through the roof right now. 54 starting to pick back up. I got a really, really good value on this card. So, um, buyer was looking to move, I was looking to pick up, and um, yeah, so it worked out for everybody. Same thing on these. Next few. It's a Rod Carew rookie, 67, and a 7.5, and which is really, really tough grade for this card. Um, yeah, value on this is going up quite a bit as well. So, since I bought it, there's the back. That's a really clean card. Same thing with this one uh, Harmon Killebrew. 55 tops rookie and a 7. It's got a little bit of ink splattered on it. Looks like manufacturer, it's the same color that you're getting through the um, the red line on it. Otherwise, this is probably going to be a strong 8. Maybe even a 9. It's amazingly clean. But again, this card too. When I bought this card, um, basically I bought this and the Karoo together off a guy. And right now, this card here alone is selling for more than I purchased both cards for. So, can't go wrong with that. Love vintage. I got this when I was really young as well. Uh, bought it raw. 63 tops. Uh, Pete Rose rookie in a 5.5. Spended it. Very happy with this grade. That's another teetering point grade. Um, anything over a 5 right now is doing really, really well as far as Rose goes. Glad I held on to it. I had some offers on it before. And this is my favorite card in my collection. This is going to be a 55 Roberto Clemente. Growing up in that area, just a big pen, um, big Pens fan, Pirates fan, Steelers fan. Um, kind of trailed off in college, I guess, for the Ohio State Buckeyes. But still, this card is just amazing. I'm glad that I was able to add it to my collection. I think it's way better looking than an average three um, in terms. I know it's off center, top to bottom a little bit, but still, come on, guys. That's just a fantastic looking card to be a three. The back is really clean. Yeah. So this is kind of where I'm at with my 40s through 60s baseball vintage. Uh, again, I'm trying to transition my, my stuff into vintage cards or... Hall of Fame rookies, things like that, more so than just collecting the Ohio State and Lemieux stuff I used to in the past. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's a little bit longer than normal. Uh, let me know your thoughts below. I'm um, going to continue to add to this collection moving forward. This is something that I'm really liking to invest in is the baseball, football, hockey, and basketball uh, vintage rookies mostly. So, Anyway, until another video, talk to you guys later.